hey guys today we'll be doing plantain chips and i'll be using this food slicer to slice mine it has a lot of settings you can use it to slice potato chips but i'll be setting it first before i use it to slice my plantain you can as well use this type if that's what you have but if you don't have any of these two machines you can use your knife your kitchen knife to slice your plantain i've already washed my plantain so the first thing i'll be doing is to take off the skin of the plantain as you can see my plantain is 20 percent ripe that's the way i love it but you can go ahead and use the one that is not yet ripe at all but bet me this one will give it a great test Meanwhile, if you are stopping by for the first time, thank you so much. I appreciate you for stopping by. Please consider subscribing. Also, turn on your notification to all so that you will be among the first to be notified whenever I upload a new video. And for my returning subscribers, you guys rock. Thank you so much for always coming back to watch my video. I appreciate you. Remember to give this video thumbs up and also comment below. You can as well share out the video to your family, your friends, your colleague. Thank you so much for doing that. So guys, I will go ahead and peel off the remaining one off camera and after that I will start slicing it with this gadget. Be careful not to wound yourself because this can be very very sharp. Once it's remaining small like this, I don't go any further. I use my kitchen knife to finish the work. I will still go ahead and show you how to use this one and it will come out well like the other one. Almost the same thickness. So just make do with what you have, okay? it will still come out very well this is the thickness so far so this remaining one i will use my kitchen knife to finish it up i don't want to wound myself so i will still go off camera and finish the remaining one and we start frying but before we start frying what i normally do is to put everything inside a bowl and add water water at room temperature then i add enough salt in it and i leave it to stay for at least 30 minutes so that the salt will really enter inside then after 30 minutes i will sieve out the water and uh, i will also pat it with a paper towel so that it will dry a bit before i will start frying but if you can leave it on your tray and keep it for a while for the water to dry that's fine but if you don't want to go through this process you can just fry it immediately then after you sprinkle some salt on it but with this method i don't need to sprinkle any salt on it because i don't like eating raw salt so that's why i incorporate my salt first before i start frying it so once i'm done drying out the water to an extent i will transfer it into a plate and start frying meanwhile my oil has been heating up for almost 10 minutes now so guys let's start frying if you look very well you see that i'm using my fingers to separate it i'm throwing it one by one because i don't want it to stick together So guys, after throwing in your chips inside your frying pan, you can as well use your frying spoon to separate any chips that is sticking to it. So I will continue giving it a stir till it turns to golden brown, then I will scoop it out and finish with the remaining plantain chips, just like so. So guys, here comes the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy it or you learn one or two things. I appreciate you. Bye and see you in my next video. Please subscribe.